hello and welcome to my channel in this video we will be discussing about in this video we will be discussing about measurement of actual discharge in laboratory if we are having a flow that is taking place in a pipe or open channel flow how we can measure the actual discharge this is important for both uh, hydraulic engineers and geotechnical engineers because when we discuss about the permeability of soil whether we are conducting a constant head test or a falling head test we need to measure the actual discharge similarly in hydraulics if we want to calibrate various instrument like venturi meter orifice meter notches weirs then we have to measure the actual discharge so that we can uh, find the coefficient of discharge similarly to know the velocity average velocity of flow in pipe we need to have the reading of actual discharge so for this we have an arrangement in which we have a collecting tank which is generally rectangular in cross sectional area and to this we have an attached piezometer a piezometer is attached to this which notes the water level inside the tank so using this arrangement we can measure the actual discharge so basically actual discharge qa will be volume upon time volume will be in meter cube and time in second so that is meter cube per second or qmac we can calculate the discharge <coughs> for this we can start some when we divert the water towards the collecting tank suppose initial height is initial reading or initial height is this one and after say 20 second or 10 seconds we have this final reading and now taking the difference of these two we get the height of water collected in the tank during this period that is during the time t what is the height of water collected in the tank we have known and this height multiplied by the cross sectional area will give the volume of water or volume of fluid collected in this time so we can write the volume of fluid or water collected is equal to h into a where is the a is the cross sectional area and head is the Uh, we have measured between the final and initial reading and now if we know the volume then discharge will be equal to volume upon time so we have h into a upon p thank you for watching our video please subscribe or follow our channel